Greetings. We're looking more at columns. Now, if you recall, we had said earlier that columns are normally not visible on the final page. So here we've made a column, and uh, it's just a placeholder layer. We've made it pink so we can look at it and know where it is on the page. But when the, we look at the built page, that column is, is not visible. And so here we are looking at the build, the page that's been built, and the column is, is functioning, but the, uh, the, the, the page itself is, uh, uh, the column itself is not visible. Well, what if we want it to be visible? Well, that is an option, and there's a couple different ways of doing it. So we're going to look at that right now. One of the ways is you can control the visibility and certain visible aspects of the column through the border and background styles pane in the design manager. So I'm just going to select the column here and I'm going to make a new style for it. And I'll just name this style uh, MC, I guess. And I can start to do things like change the background color, including variable opacity on it, um, applying shadows to the text, borders, things like that. So let's, uh, let's start to apply some of these things here. I'll start with uh, uh, some borders. I'll put a uh, two pixel solid border um, that's rounded and black around this particular column. So now you can see, um, if I shrink this up a little bit, this is what that looks like. Um, I can also uh, apply a uh, box shadow on it. So let's apply a uh, blue or a green rather um, box shadow on this and uh, with a little bit of feathering and see how that looks. Well, it's subtle there. Maybe I need to make it just a little bigger. So we'll take the box shadow out just a little more. And there it is. Maybe just a little less feathering. I'll just set the feather to zero. So, you know, a gruesome choice, but uh, um, but visible, effective. So that's, uh, you know, more stuff we can do to the, uh, uh, to the column. Maybe I'll change that color. Maybe see it a little better. There we go. Now you can really see that uh, that box shadow being applied to the whole box. Um, let's try the text shadow. So I'll uh, turn on a shadow. This is going to be shadow on all the text inside the column. So I'll, since the text is black, I'll set some white text on it, some white shadow on it, maybe a big feather, and let's see how that looks. And uh, oh, that's a little too subtle. Let's try. Try some settings here until we are happy. I don't know if you can see that it's a little, little hard. Maybe we should try a different color. And, uh, there we go. Now we can see the the nice green text shadow there and our red box shadow. So I'm really just going to town on this thing. Um, other things we can do in here is we can set the background color for the column. And in, it can get, have variable opacity set here as well. So I'll make some other poor choice as far as the background color. Now the problem with setting the background color on the column is going to be very apparent once we see this graphic. So the, the column now has a background of color applied to it, even has variable opacity. But my graphic of uh, Ostrapiazzola there is uh, looking rather terrible because it's already been pre-composited to the background and it's not looking right on top of this, this column. Well, what to do about that? Well, there's two things, approaches we could do um, to fix this particular issue. One of which is to uh, change the compression on the, uh, the Astro Piazzolo graphic itself and so that it uses something like PNG24, which has a true alpha channel, and, that, and that'll fix it. We can set that in the site pane. Um, but a, perhaps a better way is to not set the background color um, as part of the, uh, the this style here. That instead, we can set the background color and even the opacity for right in Photoshop, and then it will be included in the compositing. So back here in Photoshop, I'm just going to go to my column here, crank its uh, fill back up so we can see it, and I'm going to say, well, um, I'm going to apply the color overlay layer effect to it. And now when they have the color overlay, I'll go and I'll choose. I think we were choosing a very poor purple before. I'll choose uh, um, that purple. And I will also drag the opacity down just a little bit because that's, that's the way I like it. 
and that's looking good. That's what I want my ugly column to look like, and this is what it's going to look like. So if you, one way of making a column visible on the page is to apply the color overlay layer effects to it. If the color overlay layer effects is applied to a column layer, it will be visible on the final page and it will be bearing that particular color. If you have applied the color overlay layer effects, um, then the column is going to also respect any opacity setting that's applied to it. So if I apply the opacity setting now down, it's going to use that as well. Um, whereas without the color overlay, it would simply be invisible and the opacity would be irrelevant. So with that, let's just see how that looks. We'll build this out very quickly here. No errors. Looking good. Let's just uh, build that here. And there we go. Reload the page. And there it is. So now the, the graphic is correctly composited onto the, the, uh, the purple color. Um, I forgot to, um, and from here, if we wanted, we could then do the other sorts of stylings that we saw before using the, uh, the, uh, um, the border and background uh, styles in the, in the design manager. And I forgot to mention that if we did want the Astro Piazzolla pick to have a true alpha channel, that can be set here in the compression pane. I can just come here and choose the Astro Piazzolla one and choose it to have a PNG 24 compression. Um, this video isn't about compression, but if I were to make say anything about compression, um, generally you want your preset, your default setting to be um, a dithered GIF option. Um, using JPEG or PNG 24 as your default compression is not very wise. Um, go ahead and use those compression options on individual layers if you want, but don't make it the default. Um, and a last note about JPEG. JPEG is a great compressor for photos, but it's really quite poor at all everything else. Um, never make it your default compressor and only use it for photos. And remember that JPEG has no support for transparency. Um, so it can actually cause problems if you overuse it. Uh, this was started as a video on, on columns and how to make them visible. We'll see more about visible columns in the next video, and I hope this was useful.